Hi friends, I am back again with another haul video and this should be a fun one. Uh, those who have followed me, you probably can tell that I sound congested. Yes, I'm not looking my best. I'm not feeling my best, but I'm going to go ahead and do two videos today actually. Uh, Sunday is the only day that I can actually record videos. It's the only day that I have the house to myself. Otherwise, it's like the TV's on and things of that nature. So this is the only time I can do it. So I'm going to jump right into it after this brief, uh, me saying hello to you and, and telling you who I am. Should have checked that before I started. Um, my name is Angela. I have been selling on eBay for about 15 years, Poshmark probably seven or eight years. I am what you call a bread and butter seller. So everything that you see here today, I usually pay about a dollar for. If there's an exception, I will let you know. Um, and everything that you see here is going to be selling between $15 and $25. Again, if there is an exception, I will let you know. Um, where I live, it's difficult for me to find in-demand items. Uh, somebody had left a comment and was saying that I have to really look at the sell-through rate on items, which is 100% true. You should look and see and, and, and um, research if your item is selling. Otherwise, you end up with a bunch of stuff that sits and sits and sits, and I do have to get better at that. But considering where I live and the options that are available to me, I kind of just make do with what with what I have. I'm trying to get a little better. And if you have been watching me for any length of time, you will see that I'm starting to do a little better at, at buying items that are going to sell for a little bit more. So stay along for the ride and hopefully we will learn some things together, friends. And I feel like I'm missing something. So the first stuff that I'm going to show you is coming from a church thrift store. Um... I drove like 30 something minutes to get there and I didn't really find much, but they're like, they, you can fill a bag for like 10 bucks. So that's what I did. I didn't really find too much. Um, the shoes were priced separately. I feel like I'm missing some stuff in there. I got these Skechers, um, memory foam thingies. They were a bigger, bigger size, size 10. Pay two dollars for these so i do think that they will sell maybe in the 20 to 25 dollar range they're in great condition you can tell by this look at the footbed if the footbed is still in really good condition then you know that it's pretty good comfort view and i'm going to be talking fast because i have a lot to get through comfort view i used to sell in the 25 dollar range i feel like i'm not selling them for as much anymore some of them have been sitting but if you can find this comfort view brand this comfort view brand in larger sizes they do sell for me uh this one is a size 11 and i like getting the wide width this is an 11 w w okay so the larger sizes especially if they're wide width um sell fairly well for me i believe that there is a market for this um so yeah i paid two dollars for those two I wouldn't pay more than $3 for those, though, friends. This is probably going to be a bad buy. You'll probably see this in a video in the future of things that didn't sell, but I went ahead and got it anyway. Madden NYC, size large. This is just a cute tropical romper. Rompers don't go that good for me, but we are heading right into the summer season. And she was a large. I, I wouldn't have gotten this. If this was a small or a medium, I wouldn't have gotten it. Large is the only thing that sold me on it and because it's like summertime when i'm doing these videos i like explaining why i get this stuff to, just to help you kind of learn what to look out for and i'm not the expert by any stretch of the imagination but these are just my how i feel my ideas um in that filler bag and i think some of this stuff got mixed up so i don't remember but this one was also in that filler bag for ten dollars xxl tall these are christmas um, shorts from Old Navy. I have sold Old Navy pajama shorts in the past. Not much. Again, I'm a bread and butter seller, $13 to $15. But it is new with the tags. I would not have gotten those if they did not have the tags on them. And you will see a recurring theme with me. And I will tell you over and over again that the only reason I get some of this stuff is because they have tags on it. To me, the tags make a huge difference and it's more likely to sell. 
this was also in the bag the brand is nutcracker it's a large and this is just a christmas vest i will not be listing this right now i'm going to hold on to this until christmas time and this should sell between 15 and 25 dollars friends okay so yesterday i went to um i think it was at a library uh a bunch of people gathering up oh correction correction i knew i was missing something this also came in that church i'm all over the place y'all i don't feel good this was also in that church filler bag and these were lou morgan Mo this is a vintage brand friends size 16 100 silk black pants 100 silk pants i just sold a pair of 100 silk shorts they were like vintage shorts just sold those recently, I want to say for like 20 bucks, somewhere between 15 and 20. All right, kind of losing track of where I got what from, friends, but I'm pretty sure that this one might may have been in the church bag, so I might have paid $2 for this. Never heard of this, Cabana by Crown and Ivy. Now, I've heard of Crown and Ivy before, and I've sold Crown and Ivy before, but the actual Cabana, I guess, brand, never heard of it. This is like a denim and I didn't research it. And that's another thing that I don't do friends. And like the comment that was saying that I really should be researching to see selfie rate. I don't do that. Guilty, guilty is charged. <laughs> I just don't really have a lot of time friends. This is, this is my side hustle. I work full time, get home like at six o'clock most of the time. I just really don't have time. So when I do have time friends and I'm not telling you to do this because it's probably a terrible business model. <laughs> um, I just went when when I am uh, outsourcing and I have limited time, I have to be quick. So you know, there's other people. I can tell that there are other resellers there. You can tell. I can tell other resellers. Uh, you know, we're all trying to get the good stuff, and so a lot of times I just pick the stuff up. I've been doing this long enough to kind of have a feel for what we'll sell. The byproduct of that is that my stuff does sit for longer. And if you have watched any of my What Sold videos, I break down the numbers and stuff. So if you haven't seen those, you should go back and check my What Sold videos. I break down the numbers, how long stuff normally sits. So my stuff does sit longer. They're not high demand products. Um, yesterday we went to this yard sale. I think I paid a dollar for this. This is Talbot's Vintage Maxi Dress. I'm not going to, it's, we're in summertime. It has the velvet bottom. It's a maxi dress. This is not something that I would sell, um, that I would post right now. I do sell out of season. I, I do post out of season items routinely, but when I have a lot of stuff to list, I try to focus on what's in season. If I have downtime, if things aren't busy and, and there's some spare time, then yes, I will list a winter thing in summer. But I really do try to focus on what is in season. Paid a dollar for this. Never heard of it. Looks like a cheap brand. Ludmilla Carlatianu made for Supergirls. Uh, she's unique. She is a smaller size. I like the bottom of her. She's a dress. And the and the bottom is unique. I don't know if you can see that. Um, she's stretchy. It doesn't feel like the best of brands. But I paid a dollar. Um, so I will probably... Um, I don't know. I, have, I did not find out one comp on eBay. I didn't check anywhere else. I did check on eBay in the comps. And I didn't see not one single comp. Now... I said, I wasn't going to do this, friends. I lied. You caught me in a lie. That's fine. If you've watched my other videos before, you have heard me say that I don't like to pick up coats and w winter items. I don't have the space for it. My house is super small. i holding on to coats and they, they sit forever. They don't sell well for me. I said I wasn't picking up coats. But when you find a suede coat in a plus size for a dollar... Friends. <laughs> you better believe I picked it up. Dennis Basso. I've heard of this before. Dennis Basso. I got her because she was a 1X. I got her because she was a dollar. And I got her because she was suede. It was win, win, win all over. Look at that. For a dollar, friends. You better believe I picked that up for a dollar. 
she might say you know what and i'm lying because i did sell i sold some plus size coats recently they were both leather so um or was it just one it was one i don't know i've sold some suede some suede stuff so like real leather stuff um i would definitely pick those up friends um as far as coats go now i do know some youtubers that say that they cannot keep coats in stock they sell coats left and right i just i don't i don't and i don't price them high so maybe i just i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm doing just yet <coughs> excuse me cabling gauge gouge she is a 1x just a real basic sweater friends she's soft and that's something that I will probably, I paid like a dollar for her. Again, if I don't tell you otherwise, it's probably a dollar that I paid for this stuff. And most of these things are going to be selling between 15 and 20 in case you didn't catch that in the beginning. Um, $2 for this. J. Jill Maxi dress, extra small. She has pockets. She's a basic color. I have so, obviously I sell J. Jill fairly often as a bread and butter seller. Um, I have not sold any of her maxi dresses, so I don't know how the maxi dresses do. Offhand, I would say around $20. I try to shy away from size extra small and small. I will only pick up extra small and small if I think it's something that will sell fairly quickly, and that's what I think will happen with this J. Jill, even though she is an extra small. My husband actually got this for me. He works at a place where he can get inventory sometimes. He doesn't take advantage of it. I wish he was bringing me bags full of stuff, but he does have to be careful. But he did pick this up for me, and I thought it was really cute. All About May is the brand. Never heard of it. Probably a cheap uh, Amazon brand, Esther & Co. But if you know me and you've watched my videos, you know that I love an embroidered dress. I love anything with embroidery. This is a really small size, size four, but it's summertime. This is the time to post stuff like this. So I will be listing her probably for the $15 range unless she's something special. Never heard of the brand. Alfred Dunner. I sell Alfred Dunner fairly often, especially if it's a plus size. The colorful ones don't do as well for me. You really want to do your research and you'll learn eventually as time goes by through trial and error of what sells of Alfred Dunner. But don't turn your nose up at it if you are a bread and butter seller like me because it sells. And I got another Coat True Confession. Said I wasn't doing it, but again, it was the same lady. She had everything for a dollar, friends. So I went over there and um, again, listen, I said I wasn't picking up coats, friends, because they sit forever. But when it's a vintage suede, friends, look at this, y'all. It says size 40 on the tag. I'm assuming that a 40 is like um, a large or extra large. She is a suede. She has the fringe. Like, be serious. <laughs> like what? You better believe I was picking that up, friends. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look at that. I did not see it. Oh, I'm lying. Neiman Marcus. There it is. Neiman Marcus has the lining. I don't think this is real fur. It's it's faux fur. For a dollar. You thought I wasn't going to pick this up? Huh. Yeah, okay. I surely did. Now, she may sit for... I'm not listing her right now. We're in summertime. I'm going to put her to the side. And I'm going to put her in my money pile. And I know that she will sell. Oh, sad news, friends. Trigger warning, FYI. If you've watched my other videos before... And you've seen that like when I'm doing these videos on usually on Saturday, my cats are always <laughs> correct. Oops. Um, I have one cat. I have one cat that's like mine. And then I kind of like adopt the neighborhood cats here and there. Uh, because we have a problem here where I live with people just dumping cats. You, you know how that goes, right? Irresponsible pet breeders, irresponsible pet owners. So I kind of like adopt them, I feed them. I let them come in the house when it's like uh, cold or rainy outside. Paid a dollar for this, friends, one dollar. The girl just didn't care, she didn't care. She didn't want it, she wanted it out of her face. I can totally relate because when I want stuff out of my face, I want it out of my face and I really don't care what I paid for it. I just want it going. Le suit, size 12. I sell suits fairly routinely. This should go for about $25. When it's just a basic black skirt. We have the pink um, blazer. 
uh, I do fairly well with suits. When you're picking up suits, make sure you check the, the top and the bottom to make sure that they are the same size. I will occasionally pick up, if there is like a one size differential, let's say that the blazer is a 12, the skirt is a 14, or vice versa. If it's just like one size differential, I may still pick it up. Anything that more, anything more than just a one size difference is probably gonna be a really hard sell. So I adopt these cats. I let them come to my house. Let me just make this real short and brief. Long story short, one of my girls passed away, so I'm really sad. I don't know if I ever showed her in any of these videos, but um, yeah, she just recently, she was like an indoor-outdoor cat, and once again, she wasn't my cat, so please don't come in the comments telling me that I'm irresponsible. I didn't want to adopt her fully because I know that I can't really, the vet care, taking on the responsibility of the, of of another human life i didn't want that responsibility and because somebody else in my neighborhood dumped her but i did the best i could with what i had and i fed her i would let her in sometimes and she ended up passing away so yeah i'm really sad about that this is the athleta farallon or farallon jogger just sold this recently for 30 dollars Oh, oh, bummer. Is it really a video if I don't find a flaw? Let's be serious. If you've been watching me for any length of time, I don't think I do not one video where I don't come across an unexpected flaw. Paid $2 for these. Oh, look at that. Right at the seat of those. Some of you would go ahead and try to sell that. I don't bother with it. This is trash in my opinion. I won't even donate this to a store nothing that can be done i'm not taking it to a seamstress i'm not doing all that i got that from a lady i brought a bunch of stuff from her last year at the same exact place she was there again and i was hoping that i would run into her and i did i was so excited when i saw her because she has great stuff and her stuff is always in really good condition so she probably didn't notice that i don't think she was being you know malicious or whatever lane bryant i'm a glutton for punishment friends <laughs> Lane Bryant, friends, she's just a basic white. You're going to treat, if you know, if you know as good as I do, for the most part, you will treat Lane Bryant like you do any other mall brand, okay? Please don't try to overprice Lane Bryant because you will, will be holding on to her forever. She's a size 18. This does look like a newer um, tag. This is one of those things that I would not have purchased if it did not have a tag on it. Lane Bryant sits forever for me and I keep saying that I'm going to stop picking her up but here I am once again picking her up okay <laughs> I say one thing with my mouth and, and I tell y'all to do one thing and it's do as I say not as I do because I end up buying stuff anyway got this from the same lady she always has like nice plus size stuff not a great brand ever heard of it Jane and Delancey has the TJ Maxx tag on it, which I will take off. Make sure you take off your TJ Maxx stuff. Here's the actual brand thing, size 3X. She's just the basic button front, you know, your everyday basic button front. 15 bucks for that, probably. Again, something else that I would not have purchased if it did not have the tags. This is not something I would pick up, okay? I really want you guys to pay attention when I'm showing you stuff on... um you know, what I would or would not pick up without the tags. You will notice a lot of stuff has tags on it. So these are just, these look super comfy and I may or may not keep these for myself because these are super soft. They're just like some pulled on sweater pant type thingies. I don't know if I'm gonna list those right now. I don't know if they're in season or not. Okay, here's another Athleta Farallon Heathered Wide Crop. Just sold an exact pair like this. Um probably a month or two ago for $30. Now, I did have her sitting. My last Farallon crop sat for about a year and a half. I would say or a little over a year before she sold. Um, but she sold for 30 and I think that I had her priced kind of high. If I if I recall correctly, I originally had her priced around $49. And then as the months went by, went by, I started lowering her more and more and more and I eventually sold her last month for 30 bucks. I think she was a bigger size than this too. Or I may have gotten it from the same lady last year. I don't know. But here she is in blue and let me check the seat to make sure because the other one was a little messed up there this does have some light pilling so this one i might 
do for 25. Yeah, so keep an eye out for these, um, the Farallon Athleta. I don't come across, again, I'm like a bread and butter seller. Even finding Athleta is very rare when I go to thrift stores. Um, so I was surprised that I found that. We're going to add this to my, I probably shouldn't have got it. And you're probably going to see this in a video in a future um, on things that I should not have purchased. But every now and then I buy things based on style. And if you have been watching me for any length of time, you know how much I am a sucker for embroidery. And so this was one of those things that I probably shouldn't have gotten, but I did. Lane Bryant, size 14. Like, be serious, girl. Why are you picking stuff like this up? But when I saw this, the detailing here, friends, I just couldn't. I just couldn't pass her up. Jeans. Now, I don't stay up to date on fashion as much as I don't know, like, what's trending. I'll be honest. And as a clothing seller, that is a fallacy. Is that the right word? It's dumb. Let's just say it's dumb not to keep up on trends if you are a clothing seller like I am. I sell 90% clothes. I don't know what's in or what's out. I hear the skinny jeans are going out of style. Whatever. Um, I, I like them. They were cute. I probably could sell them for 15 Uh, Land's End, size 3X. I am pretty sure that I brought a tie-dye button front, um shirt from the same exact lady last year and I just sold it recently it was Land's End it was a tie dye it was a button front I sold that recently for like $25 so this was really cute Land's End sells I don't find Land's End a lot around here but when I do find it it sells I would guess that this dress would go for around $25 or at least that's what I'm hoping for I still have one more big bag and I'm debating if I should break this up into another video or not maybe i will because we're at 20 something minutes i'm gonna finish this bag and then i'm gonna move on to the next video again lane bryant friends only got it because of the tag and even with the tags it's probably gonna sit but she's a basic white button front is a button front yeah but basic button front sometimes your really basic stuff sells better than the fancy stuff she's just a basic white shirt button front and who isn't looking for a basic white button front like come on come on friends <laughs> again got this from the same lady athleta avenue wide leg crop pant again i don't come across a lot of athleta i'm looking at the seat since the other one had an issue I don't come across a lot of Athleta. The only Athleta I have ever sold is the uh, Farallon crop that I sold recently. So I'll have to do some research. I would assume that this is going to go for the $25 to $30 range. She's a size 18 Avenue crop. Never heard of it, friends. <laughs> Never heard of it. And finally, no, I'm lying. Two more items. Talbots. Again, same lady. Um, she, she always has like plus size clothes. She didn't have as much as last year. Last year I made a killing at her, uh, little yard sale thingy, but not this time. And again, this was at like a local library and there were a bunch of vendors. So she, I didn't get as much from her this year, but she came through. This is a tall bitch three X with the tag. This is not something she's just a basic half button shirt. I wouldn't have gotten her without the tag. I do pick up tall bits without the tag fairly often but it has to be a certain look or I have to do my research I picked that one up because she had the tag and I said you can't go wrong with that and finally for this video friends another one of those do as I say not as I do situations but y'all know how I am with embroidery I just love the bohemian the boho look um the festival look Lane Bryant size 1820 she is a basic white not basic a not so basic white blouse with the embroidery absolutely love it she's probably gonna sit for a while lane bryant takes forever but i just couldn't pass her up i thought she was super cute and this is the season for it so friends that is it for this video make sure that you like subscribe do all that stuff because you're gonna have to see part two friends here's a um a little a little hint there's some pier one stuff here that you're gonna want to take a look at next time so make sure that you're signed up for those notifications friends 
so you can see what I purchased this time. And make sure that you comment down below if you like my video. Have a good one, friends.